In this video, I will be demonstrating two important concepts associated with the NYC biking analysis or explanatory analytics. The first important thing to keep in mind is to notice that bridge data for NYC biking is spread across four columns. <coughs> the column headers are the names of the bridge and these are in fact data and so should be converted from wide form to long form. So we add a new step, wide to long, and we're going to select the column names specifically Brooklyn, Manhattan, Williamsburg, and Queensboro. The key column is going to be bridge name and the value column is going to be number of trips that individuals were taking over that bridge. Now a couple of other things to keep in mind. One of the requirements of the explanatory anal analysis is to provide a pivot table, as it were, uh, of the number of ta uh, trips taken by individuals across different bridges on different days of the week. In this case, we specifically have days or specific dates. From the date values, we can extract days of the week by clicking on the down arrow next to date going down to extract and in this case we want a day of the week. I can select the number version of the day of the week and when I do that I have a new column called date underscore w day where I have a specific day of the week. Which day of the week did 1700 people um, Across the bridge, what is the high temp, low temp, and precipitation on that day. A couple of other things to keep in mind when one is doing explanatory analytics, data types matter. Specifically in this case, one of the things to keep in mind is that precipitation, which is rainfall, is considered as character data. And the reason it's considered as character data is because we have some letters over here. These letters might symbolize snowstorms, thunderstorms, or other weather-related phenomena. We can click on the down arrow next to precipitation, change the data type, and convert it to numeric to convert that character data to numeric data. These are a few of the considerations we have to keep in mind as we are examining the NYC biking dataset. 